current Mr. and Mrs. A and T. We have a couple questions for you guys, is that okay? Yes. yes. All right, so first question. Would you move somewhere that is hot or cold? Hot. Hot? hot? Okay. No, I don't like the cold life, okay? I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm gonna be somewhere in Miami, all right? Somewhere deep. Okay, okay, so what's your favorite color? <laughs> I have to go with the basic black and white. I love no. the good black and white. My favorite colors are blue and red. Blue and red. red? Why blue and red? I like red. <laughs> blue is my favorite color because it's cool, it's smooth, it's nice. And the red gives it that anger, that that bloody feeling. But I know, it's kind of crazy. Okay, okay. <laughs> Interesting. So what's your favorite quote? Ooh. Do you have one? Float like a butterfly, spin like a bee. Favorite quote? Live every day like it's your last. Because you never know when it is your last. Who is your hero? Jesus. Jesus. Yes. He died on the cross for my sins. Mm -hmm. Um, my hero has to be me. Why is that? I feel like right now I'm my biggest hero because I overcame things I never thought I could. I'm okay. I'm rooting for me. I'm looking up to me. Right now. <laughs> and slightly lighter note, what would you do if you won the lottery? I would invest half of it, save 25% of it, and then free ball with the rest. I would put up a small portion and disappear from the world. Travel the world. I mean, why disappear? <laughs> Let's take a pause here. What's your favorite dance movie? Ooh. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite hobby? Slippy. I like to do adventurous things. So traveling, hiking, kayaking, mountain climbing, bike riding. And you have a skateboard in your hands. Skateboarding too? <laughs> skateboarding. <laughs> um, I do like exercise now. Jet roping. <laughs> Who would you want to play you your life in a movie? Lupita. Chris Rock. Those are pretty accurate. <laughs> <laughs> like, definitely Chris Rock. He would definitely be my play though, my whole role. He looks like me too, so it's just like, well, I look like him. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> He's just on. Yeah. Okay. okay, now who's your celebrity crush? <laughs> um, my celebrity crush right now, it's, it's been Riri for a minute. Riri, do you love me? Maybe Michael B. Jordan? That's my mm. go-to, but I don't know if he's actually my celebrity crush. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't really know if I have a celebrity crush, though. You gave him Michael B. Jordan. I don't know if Michael B. Jordan is really accurate, though. I feel like that's just like, you know, the go-to, but I haven't really sat and thought about it, bro. All right, so now take us around the office just a little bit. Give us a little overview of what's going what on. All right, so we have the mural of all the SGA members. Oh, and then we have Kenny, Kenny back here, you know. What's Come on, Kenny? Kenny works in Chick Fil A. He works everywhere. Hey y'all. <laughs> <laughs> then we have the pose that meets the previous Miss Ant is on warm, and this goes into the Miss Ant closet. And then we also have the sashes back here. Yeah. We are. We currently just got our Mr. Freshman, but we are waiting on our Miss Freshman. So we find out who she is tomorrow. Curtis. Um, these are our current desks. Right here is my wonderful desk. As you guys can see. Zooming on that official name tag with the magnetic strip on the back, y'all. And then we're gonna tap into my book of me. This is all about Curtis. Anything you wanna know, you can find in there. Okay, so take me back to the day one. Oh as Mr. and Miss Auntie. 
Anytime I think about that moment, I get chills. Like I remember looking over the back, like looking up and there were so many people like looking down at us. And it was just like a, I feel like I'm about to cry thinking about it. <laughs> but it was just like a heart warming moment. Like it definitely it was, was a dream surreal. come true. Cause I've been praying about this moment since I got the ANT. So hearing my name called just was full of great vibes, happiness, Boy. stress relief. What led you to run? Well, I'll say what led me to run is knowing what the position entailed and knowing that I can execute it, execute it to the best of my abilities. Um, community service is one of my biggest things and knowing that's what this position entails over the entire campus, it's something that I want to make sure that I know, like I can make sure students continuously have that community service aspect. For me, same with the community service aspect, but I grew up going to HBCU coronations because my mom is an alum of Wisconsin State University. And so I always remember being like, I want to be like her when I get older. And so when I came to a &T, well, actually at a coronation, I met a Miss a &T, and I told her, I walked up to her and was like, hey, I really want to be like you when I get to a &T. And so she gave me a mentor and that mentor have got my journey. So I just kind of want to be able to get back in the same way it was given to me, to make sure people know that they can come to a &T and have that family feeling because that's something that Miss a &T granted me. Okay, so what kept you motivated during campaign season? God. <laughs> I did my devotional every morning and I feel like that is definitely how I got through. I would definitely say God. Me not even being a very strong religious person, um, I would definitely say God was one of my biggest things. Um, just knowing that like I can at least pray to some someone or something um, to just assist me with my day day needs. Um, it was really helpful just to be able to have that hour. And you all are already hard workers, but what motivates you to go even further? My family. Yeah, I would say the same. Making my mom proud, making my family proud is something that I'm like, I'm like, yes, yes. And go. And go is making me proud. Okay. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> 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 Love the break. Okay, so what does it mean to be Mr. and Mrs. Ant? I think surface level, face of the school, but it also means being somebody that people can come talk to. Like, I never want anybody at ANT to feel like they can't come talk to us, especially being who we are. Like, we're very social, very outgoing. Like, just being, being there for people, being a support system for the people. Okay, and what are your top three goals? Campus engagement, community service. Community service, professional development, and mental health awareness. And what has been your favorite a and event so far? <laughs> or what are you looking forward to? I'm looking forward to coronation. I'm looking forward to the g Hope Hell Gates. <laughs> Not even coronation, like coronation, but also the concert. Little baby? Glorilla? No, no, wait! Do it! Chloe yes. Bailey! Ah! Top tier. Top ah! <laughs> What's an unwritten rule that you would make mandatory if you could? Hmm. No parties on Monday. Explain. I, I feel like in the beginning of the week, we have people who like to start getting lit just to kick their week off, maybe to give them a little bit of excitement. Tell them no. Tell them find something productive to do. I always take a weekday for a mental health. So you believe in a four day week? Yes. Week. That was good. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> Glad to know. All right, let's wrap it up with, where do you see yourself in 10 years? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be 31. Um, in the next 10 years, I will be in another country practicing law um, and a full family and living my best life, honestly, because, yeah, that's where I see my next 10 years. Y'all, 32 is crazy. Um, uh, okay, so I definitely see myself being an attorney, being an entertainment and civil rights attorney. I would hope to have a family. By 32 um but i'm not rushing it I'm not rushing it I, I hope to like fully have enjoyed my 20s and be in a space where i can just continuously grow all right thank you that's our mr and miss i'm curtis and i'm aviana and, and that's, that's all, all.